Hey guys, this is Richard from the clan RLF bringing you a war video of Luxur25 who uses a CC clan lure. Luring was not as important when all came out. You could just poison out the lower hit point CC troops. It was actually kind of fun. You can just get rid of it without even using a lightning. It was easy to get rid of witches, which used to be a nuisance with all the skeletons. But now, it's been a couple weeks since the update and more and more people are putting higher hit point troops in the CC. And as seen in our ward this time, they've been having dragons, lava hounds, dragons and balloons, pet guys, all higher hit points in the clan castle and the poison doesn't really get rid of them. So this episode, I'm gonna show one of the two attacks of Luxture where he to start both. I thought this one was kind of interesting because it's not a totally maxed out base, but he already has level 40 heroes. And it's always good to scout out the base in the beginning. You can see right here, there is an empty spot. And so it would be a great place to do a lore. Um, it's typically good to not drop your high hit point troop there first. So Luke's your wisely puts an archer there because there's usually a dump, double bomb or a giant bomb and you know there's going to be a hidden tesla there but he uses that as the lure um if anything if he could have done different i probably would have just held back a couple archers to snipe all the elixirs in the corner and maybe a poison spell to get rid of what happens to be lava pups in the clan castle so here we go as I said before, he's going to lure the CC and he's going to use the defect in this base and there are double bombs. Then he drops some giants to lure out the CC and they have a wizard, a witch, and a lava hound. Um, he uses giants to lure them to the corner. probably should have followed that with some archers and witches at that point now he does that um, so now the lava hound is getting some damage but he still has the wizard and the witch left now just some skeletons and he's gonna start the attack in the center where he did the lore so I do think that leaving an empty spot, it seems like a trick, and we all know that there's going to be a bunch of damage when you go into the hole. It's sort of now a defect in terms of luring the clan castle because it's an easy way to lure the clan castle, especially if it's close to where the clan castle is. And he was able to even drop his queen there so she doesn't circle around the bases like the witches did. He already uses his rage, his king's ability, um, and has gotten rid of both infernal target infernos, and the queen still has her ability left, so this, rate, this attack is looking pretty good. Um, it's interesting that even though all the defenses aren't up, if you looked at his profile, he has all max level troops, uh, max level walls, and He's at the towards the bottom of the base, so bottom of the pecking order in this war. He's probably what a lot of people call a town hall nine and a half, where the half is that all his offense is max, but his defenses are still town hall level nine or lower. And I can speed up the end since he's already gotten two stars. The witches are going to probably die from the splash damage there. And the lava pup is still alive, as you can see at the end. And usually what I like to do is bring a poison to get rid of all the lava pups, but Lukester is still upgrading his Dark Elixir factory, so I think in a few days when it's done, it would be wise to bring a poison spell. It would kill any lava pups or any remaining troops in there. So thanks for watching. If you like this, put a subscribe and a like button. I appreciate this. Thank you. Take care.
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>